Well, as you know, February is American Heart Month, and it's kicking off with National Wear Red Day tomorrow. It's always a good time to check in and have a pulse, pun intended, on how to live a healthier lifestyle, the impacts of heart disease, and how we can take care and show love to our heart. So our next guest is the Go Red for Women Chair for the American Heart Association of Indiana, Sunny Lou Williams. So great to have you. Thank you. Okay, so this is a big topic. I, I This is one of the reasons why I love the month of February is because there's so much going on. Um, tell us and remind us about some of those stats, though, about the prevalence of heart disease. Absolutely. So in our nation, one of every three deaths is related to cardiovascular disease. And for women, it's actually the leading uh, number one killer, and it kills more women than all cancers combined. I, and I, as many times as we hear that, every time, Sunny, I find it so shocking. Mm -hmm. How does it show up in women? So is it different than men, it first is, of all? It is. So we have a very kind of traditional thought of what heart attack feels like, looks like. But for women, it can present anything from jaw pain mm. to arm numbness to just feeling overly tired. And so being very aware of an education of how that presents is important and one of our key focuses for American Heart Month. Yeah, so what are some of the things, especially as women, that we should stay on top of? Like we said, have a pulse on. You talk a lot about knowing our numbers. What are those numbers? Great, great question. And those numbers are, first off, to know your blood pressure. So 120 over, over 80 mm -hmm. is considered normal range, and that's systolic over diastolic. So getting tested, knowing your numbers, but also knowing that as the systolic diastolic diastolic increase by even 10 points, that actually doubles the um, prevalence of heart attack. Wow, any small increase is mm -hmm. a big deal. Yep. What can we do to show love to our hearts? So, you know, it's the same item, same mantra, exercise, mm -hmm. eat right, low sodium, um, less sugar, and just making sure that we know our family history and we're educated about the major changes in our um, weight gain and our major milestones. Yeah, I know sometimes it seems like especially, I mean, back me up if you think this is true, with women, it's like we put ourselves last and we're taking care of other people. Um, so it's important to make your appointments with your doctor, but I think so much about how I want my mom to do that and right. my aunts to do that. <laughs> and so then maybe it makes it easier. I'll do it for my daughter. Um, those kind of things. Absolutely. Keeping yourself first and making sure, you know, when you're celebrating your birthday, schedule those appointments. Oh, Make sure you have that preventative, right? Mm -hmm. So always making sure that you're keeping pace in what does weight gain look like? What does exercise changes? What does external environmental factors impacting us like COVID not being able to be outside or in oh. our chosen exercise um, routines as much. Well, and that brings me to another question. Has COVID impacted heart disease at absolutely. all? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we're still getting the numbers back for you know, obviously the, this last year of mm -hmm. 2020, but in general, the impacts of stress, of more comfort food eating. Yes, <laughs> stress baking, yes, all those yes. wonderful things. Um, a more sedentary lifestyle, you know, yeah. remote work at home doesn't allow us to, you know, those steps from the parking lot to the building to your office, those, those count. Add up, that's right. right. So those are huge impacts, and we, we haven't seen the, the data yet, but okay. we know that generally speaking, people are, are not as active and, and not as and not as healthy. Yeah, so it's to come. Let's get to the good news tomorrow. We're Red for Women Day. Yes. Everybody at the station likes to support that. So we will <laughs> all be in red, and you can too. What else can we do? I'm, I'm guessing you guys have a hashtag we can use when we post pictures on social media. Yes, please. So hashtag We're Red Day, and also hashtag Indy Goes Red. And it's the 20th anniversary of the um, oh. celebration of Go Red. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, what else do you guys have going on this month? Lots and lots of programming. The American Heart Association team has been incredibly busy. So we have um, the, of course, tomorrow, We're Red, We're, we're Red, We're Red. Mm -hmm. Then we have February 26th, our a digital experience in lieu of the annual luncheon. And so that'll be a phenomenal one hour virtual experience with online auction to continue the education awareness and of course fundraising. Well, I love that you guys are keeping things up even though it's virtual. We've had some changes. You're still mm -hmm. supporting this cause. What's the mission of the American Heart Association? American Heart Association is to educate on heart disease, uh, ensuring that cardiovascular disease is reduced. And then also specifically for Go Red for Women, highlighting that women experience heart disease and stroke very differently. Yes, yes. So where can we go, Sunny, for more information? Go to heart.org um, overall for education information and then heart.org slash red. Okay, and we will support this mission by all <laughs> wearing red tomorrow. We invite you to Yay. join us too. Thank you so much for Thank your time. You. It's great to see you. All right, you guys, we'll be back in a bit and we'll take a look at what's coming up next.